So you want to have an indoor snowball fight. What do you need? You need a little bit of yarn and a crochet hook. Today we'll be using somewhere around a G or H. You can use larger or smaller if you have them, depending on how big you want your stitches. Now take a look at, we will be sending with our take and make kits some of this worsted weight yarn, but if you are a professional crocheter or you've done this in the past, feel free to use some fancier yarn, which is more difficult to use for a beginner because you can't see where your next stitch is going. But keep in mind, this is what a hairy yarn looks like. This is a half size. And then this is what a very fluffy yarn looks like, which is pretty much the perfect snowball. How do you get started making your indoor snowball? Simply take your yarn and fold and tie a little slip knot towards the bottom, leave a little bit of a tail. You can stick your crochet hook in there and then pull it so that it's tight, but not so that there's still wiggle room. And then keep your tail in one side and this is crocheting in the round. So first we loop it and pull down one Loop it, pull down again, and since we're going in the round, we're going to go back in right through the very center of where we started from, and we're going to do that again. And we're going to do that six times. So in, around, pull through, loop and pull through, because this is a single crochet. In, around, and through, so you have two on your, two loops on your hook and then pull through again and we're going to do that i think three more times through and pull through the two of them go right through the center you can see how you are getting a center piece there and through and then here's the last time here so you have six and a little center so this is what it looks like Now that you have the center of your snowball, which is oops, what that looks like, then what we're going to teach you next is how to increase. And that just means putting two stitches in each of the six stitches for a total of 12. So I always go through two. Some people only go through one. It is personal preference. So go through one, so that there's two loops wrap it around and go through both of them and then go back through the exact same stitch you just went through and do that again. So that puts two stitches in your one stitch and that is how you increase. And you will go around and do that until you have all 12 stitches. And if you pull out like that just did, no worries, just pop it right back in. So go through one and two and you'll do that until you have the 12 stitches so now you have your 12 stitches in the round so what do you do next if you want to make a larger snowball then what we're going to do is we're going to increase one more time and if you do the math, which I usually don't, um, that means that you'll take your 12, two stitches in each, which means you're going to end up with 24 on the next row. Here we have our 24 stitches. Now, your next row, you'll go into the next stitch and you'll pull it through once for a single crochet and then you'll increase. And feel free to do the fancy math because I believe that you end up with about 36 stitches total, but this is a very forgiving craft, so just keep going around until you've done one and then two for your increase. So one and two. 
two. And if you aren't sure exactly where you started from, keep in mind that your tail here is where you started from. And so once it evens up with your stitches, that's about where you started from. So that's a handy little cheat for you. Once you've completed that row of 36, if you decide to make it that size, then what you're going to do is you're going to put a single crochet into each stitch. So you'll go around 36 times if you did that, or 24 if you did not do the, um, that last row. And so you'll do a single crochet into each one of them, and you'll do that for rows five through about 12 or 13. And then as you can see, it's already starting to curve and it will keep doing that until it is this shape. So here is row five through 13. And then after you get that, then um, you'll start to decrease, you'll stuff it, and then you'll tie it off. Okay, so now we're going to skip ahead and we're going to show you how to decrease, which is what you'll do once you have your um, snowball to the rounded point where you think you want to start rounding it off. And so your decrease here, you will go through the next stitch and you'll pull through so there's two on there. And then you'll pop into the next stitch and you will pull through both of those. And like I said, if you drop a stitch, no worries because you can just go back through and pull it all the way through. So we do not want this to close off too quickly. So in between each of your decreases, add a single crochet. And then you will decrease by going through one, go through the next stitch, and pull through all of them until it's nice and tight. And then you'll single crochet. And you will do this all the way around until you reach a point where it's time to actually stuff it. And you'll see here, your decrease will be a little looser. So this is where we were increasing, and this is what a decrease looks like. Now, once you have it about here, what you're going to want to do, you'll have it stuffed at that point, and then you'll just decrease, and you'll have four or five decreases all in a row, and then you will stick your crochet hook through, and then just pull it through the loop once without a crochet, and just knot it off, until you have it nice and tight, tuck in your little tails. You also have the option, as you can see, I tend to flip mine inside out because I like the look of the inside for my snowballs. So feel free, once you have it about here, feel free to go ahead and flip it inside out so that you'll actually be working in the other direction, but you do have that option depending on which type of stitch you like the best. So happy crocheting everyone!